This is Miami, sharing the stories of our past and present, diverse, vibrant, and global city is how we engage our communities and discover connections. In the heart of our bustling city, one of Miami's treasured institutions is dedicated to keeping our stories preserved, relevant, and alive, so we can study, learn, and evolve. History Miami Museum is the most important building in the city because it houses who we were and lets us choose who we want to be. Photojournalist Tim Chapman was a photographer for the Miami Herald for 40 years. He donated more than a million images to History Miami to forever live in the museum's collection. Images from the Cocaine Cowboys era, the Mariel Boatlift, dozens of hurricanes, and decades of other significant Miami stories. Without history in a community, you have nothing. Understanding the community is understanding civic activism, like how historic Virginia Key Beach in the 40s came to be the only designated colored only beach, as the sign says, in Miami. Dr. Wallace Tinney and Professor Jean Tinney key in making sure that story was told here. It didn't take much to persuade the museum folk to do an exhibition of historic photographs. This is a unique kind of story. The beach designation came after a historic wade-in at another nearby White Beach. I think the museum has shown itself over the years to be willing to step out and bring the conversation to the people, which is all you can ask for. Another moving history lesson, Operation Pedro Pan, the Cuban children's exodus. This award-winning exhibition told the story of the mass exodus of more than 14,000 Cuban children who came unaccompanied to the United States in the early 60s, sent by their parents to escape the Castro regime. Like Carmen Valdivia, sent to the U.S. alone as a child. The really bad experience was experiencing communism in Cuba before we came. So my parents decided that it was safer to send us to the United States than to stay in Cuba under the conditions that, of the things that were happening. Valdivia was instrumental in making sure this story was told at History Miami Museum. Another wildly popular exhibition, Hurricane Andrew, 25 years later, curated by famed meteorologist who guided South Florida through the Category 5 storm in 1992, Brian Norcross. Hurricanes and History Miami really are intrinsically related, and I think it's very, very important. The museum and, and the community appreciate uh, the importance of understanding hurricanes to living in this part of the state. The conversation is also brought outside the walls of the museum, to the streets and to the water, by History Miami resident historian, Dr. Paul George, who conducts well-known, very popular walking tours and boat tours of the city. We started doing tours. The first was downtown, right into the city cemetery, Coconut Grove, River Tour, uh, Little Havana, just went on and on and on. It just got to be huge. It's just been a wonderful experience. Yeah, I must average, um, probably about 125 tours a year. Downtown Neighborhood Alliance former president Amal Tabani says Dr. George's tours are essential to community growth, understanding, and foundation. The more you understand the background and context of the history of Miami, the more you value it and the more you yourself want to give back to it. And support it essential for the next generation, a key focus for History Miami, the students. History teacher Michelle Kelly and hundreds of other teachers partner with the museum and have dozens of programs in place with History Miami. They recognize that they are only as good as how well they serve the community. The museum partners with hundreds of schools for field trips every year. Museum educators and artists also go into schools. My favorite ones are when they bring a folk artist in residence to my school. Like Pedro Zepeda, an expert canoe carver with the Seminole tribe. Yeah, I think it's important to, to know the history of the area and, and who is here and all the different groups that, you know, played an important role in, in what Miami has become today. Another former artist in resident, Rasmi Camargo, 
She says the cultural diversity of Miami is exemplified at the museum. Este tipo de programas los considero ya algo esencial para que podamos ver cuáles son todos esos puntos, cuáles son todas esas comunidades que conforman a Miami, porque Miami al fin es como lo dije, una ciudad de colores, una ciudad de, de mucho mostrar. And with more than 300 community partners, the museum strives to represent all. Community partner Yes Institute focuses on inclusion and suicide prevention. The partnership that I hope continues to, to grow is really uh, making sure that young people, especially in communities that are traditionally underserved, get a space where they can openly see history, experience history, talk about things that we don't traditionally talk about openly or authentically. Representatives with community partner the Miami Dolphins say it's History Miami Museum's city tours they work with to experience the culture of South Florida for its Football Unites program. Without History Miami, we would not be where we are for our different community efforts. It's partnerships like those and the mission of History Miami Museum that earns the support of the Knight Foundation. Many people, I think, in this community have come to understand the value of rootedness, the value of connecting to place, of creating a sense of community. For more than 80 years, we've worked and continue to work to safeguard and share the stories of your Miami to ensure they're preserved and continue to be told to support future generations and their quest for knowledge, knowledge that lives here at History Miami Museum in the center of it all. So you can show people the truth and they can make the best decisions from that truth. History Miami is the only place to have a collection that's gonna outlast all of us.